Thank you, guys. Coach, did you have expectations coming into tonight? And if you did, what were they met or kind of what did you think overall? Uh, I, th I thought it was probably pretty good overall, considering we were tired. And we haven't practiced since uh, since we played Tennessee. So, yeah, I, th I thought it was about as good as we could do. So, defensively, we weren't very good, obviously, early, and they missed a lot of layups. But overall, I thought the ball moved decent and the right guy shot it. And, Good to get MJ in there and Joe to have some productive minutes. So I thought overall it's pretty good. Bill, how would you decide on Joe to start over another option if you don't know? Uh, we didn't have. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> we, I mean, it was either Joe or MJ. Those were the only two guards that could sub in. So, uh, uh, so yeah, it wasn't that wasn't a hard decision. And MJ had he's only practiced two days since uh, since about. Well, since before, um, well before Omaha. So yeah, it, that was not a hard decision. How do you feel Joe did that in his first start? I think I thought he did fine. You know, defensively he should be better. You know, heating people up, causing havoc. But I thought he did fine. It's in, and he needs to be a guy that can make two out of five. You know, when he when he comes in a game. And and uh, I don't know what he was tonight, two or four. But he's a good shooter. And he, you know, it, 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 his stroke looked good tonight. And how is Kevin doing? Uh, he's fine, you know. Well, he's not fine, but he's got a strained groin. Like, you know, he hurt against Tennessee early and played with it. But, you know, we're hopeful, hopeful that he can maybe practice on Wednesday and play Thursday. But if he's not ready, we'll we'll set him Thursday too and try to get him ready because we got a long time to heal up before we play again. Shay kind of mentioned this, but expectations wise, when, when you have Bobby's out, Kevin's out, you got guys in that are not really playing high minutes so far this year. Do you, do you change what you do, what you expect to do, how things go, any of that? No, what, we, what I wanted to do today was start KJ at the five and then not play him at the five after we started him at the five. And we didn't do that totally because we did put him back in the first half, but, uh, and then try to get, you know, those other guys about 10 minutes each. And, you know, they got close to it, but but not quite, but uh, just to see how they did. And I actually thought Zuby and, and Ernest you know, in very limited time, at least they went after the ball, rebounded it, which was positive. Too. For them to get 10 rebounds in 18 minutes, uh, that was a that was a positive thing. What did you think of Grady's offensive night? I thought it was pretty good. You know, I, 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 you know, he and Jay will. I'm not going to get over excited when they make shots. That's what they do. So, so, uh, uh, but I thought it was pretty good. You know, the the, the area we got to get better at is you know we got to be able to guard somebody, and there was way too many way too many breakdowns on that end, but. But uh, uh, yeah, I, th I, th I thought Grady did fine, uh, and I thought Jalen did fine. But still, yet I don't really base performances on the guys that should be shooting all the shots, score points. So, so that they should get points because it's designed for them to get more than anybody else. Was the mid range thing for him just him taking what was there, or was that by design to try? No, to I get think it was probably there? more him taking what was there. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I think he did a good job coming off the ball screen and scoring, or a couple of pin downs and scoring. He's good at that. I wanted to touch on what you were talking about with your defense. Given the guys you have right now, given with the injuries, how do you feel your defense is progressing through this season? Uh, well, I actually thought we guarded really well in uh, in Bahamas. Now we had some breakdowns, but I mean it went from a lack of competitive effort. I mean there were some 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 silly things like against Tennessee. You know you can't switch a one four ball screen. You screw that up. I mean there were some very correctable things uh, that we that we didn't do against Tennessee and 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 also uh, in the other games that you know I think all teams that I've ever had have made similar mistakes this time of year so but as far as effort and activity and things like that I actually thought it was good the, the thing that hurt us against Tennessee wasn't our defense it was our rebounding mm -hmm. and and then you know they threw in some shots at the end of the clock when we made some mistakes but tonight our defense was not very good tonight wasn't very good how is Bobby and uh What's the prognosis? Uh, my 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 best feel for that is that we could have him back from Missouri, so so uh, hopefully that'll be the case. Is that the same stuff he's been having the, the spring? Yeah, well he had a he had a hamstring earlier. I don't need, I don't even know if it's the same leg, but uh, I think it is. But I mean, it's it's not a serious one, but it's it's too, you know those those things uh, from based on what I've been told and. In all my time being that first step, you know, I've struggled with some hamstring issues too. But uh, I actually have have torn mine once, 
and it is no fun. Uh, uh, so we don't want it to become torn. We want it to be right where it is and then to nurse it back. And so he, he's doing treatment all the time. So we'll, we'll bring him back whenever he's ready. He's too important as Juan's backup not to, uh, not to uh, uh, be a big part and be healthy, you know, obviously going into the most important part of the season. How does MJ play that well with no practice time? I, you know what? He played good offensively. Defensively, you know, got a long ways to go. But but uh, uh, I, I I thought he did a good job tonight. He saw the ball go in. But a little, little different game when there's not pressure. You know, when there's pressure and guys are guarding you every possession, it's a little bit different than, than you know, uh, 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 somebody can force help and get you an uncontested look or you can kind of play bully ball, which he did a couple of times on some plays. Uh, uh, Texas Southern is, is is going to be good in their league, but but that's not exactly Wisconsin or Tennessee guarding us out there uh, from a physicality standpoint. You mentioned KJ at the five. What, what is he? What do you want him to do in, in that role while you wait for those other guys to come? Well, he's got to become. A, he's got to be a great screener, and he's got to play with a relentless motor, and he's got to be able to defensive rebound. And tonight, he actually screened the best he has all year. And it wasn't just ball screens. He actually did a good job screening the best he has all year. Uh, but defensive rebounding, he's just not very big. And, you know, if you guys follow this, he's a much better offensive rebounder than defensive rebounder because there's not really responsibilities. And you just kind of go. And and and, uh, uh, and that's where his motor comes into play. But that, that's, that's, that's what I would hope that he can become a, a good position defender. And, and, and he's not going to be a shot blocker. Uh, uh, as far as a rim protector. Now, he can block some shots, but that's not what he's going to do. He's going to be a guy that can short roll and, and, and uh, be a good screener and be a good passer out of those type of situations offensively. You, you mentioned Kevin, too. Do you think Thursday for him possible? Or? We don't know. Okay. We don't know. I, I think I think Thursday for him is more probable, obviously, than, uh, than, uh, than uh, 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 Bobby. But right now, I, if he's not ready, I'm not going to push him. You know, Kevin's had a history of of dealing with some injuries that have lingered and really hurt him at Tech, where he's missed a substantial amount of time. And although it's, this is totally different, uh, uh, if he makes progress tomorrow and can go on Wednesday, he'll play on Thursday. But if he can't, I doubt we use him. And then just the, the bounce back for Dewan. I mean, he was out there, but but he also had a pretty yeah. He was solid. Yeah, tonight. yeah. He's yeah, but yeah. Juan, 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 Juan didn't play very well. Uh, uh, against Tennessee for, by his standards in large part because he put himself in a situation where he wasn't in the game. Uh, so he, he I, th I thought, <clears throat> you know, he's so good. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't know if I consider anything a bounce back for Juan. I don't think, I don't think Tennessee is going to bother him or he needed this right. to be good on Thursday. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he looks at the game that way. Anything else?